CNN News 18 has now accessed the joint statement from India and the United States bilateral meet. The leaders have expressed their appreciation for the substantial progress that has been currently underway to implement the groundbreaking achievements of Prime Minister Modi's historic June 2023 visit to Washington. Now, President Biden has also lauded India's G20 presidency for further demonstrating how the G20 as a forum is now delivering important outcomes. That is the latest we are bringing to you as far as the US-India joint statement is concerned. Remember just some time ago that significant crucial bilateral between the Indian Prime Minister and the US President has taken place. A lot has been uh, discussed at the table. As far as US is concerned, it's also uh, expected to now assist in uh, as far as uh, uh, helping or resolving the global debt crisis is concerned. But between India and the United States, this meet is expected to be a pinnacle of all those visits and interactions that have taken place between the Indian Prime Minister and the US President so far. Remember, uh, this is also something that has been indicated in the joint statement of the Indian Prime Minister and the US President as well. The Prime Minister himself has called the meeting very productive. Remember, those visuals that we are showing you on your screen are of Indian Prime Minister very warmly receiving the US President and on display was the camaraderie between the two heads of states and uh, between the host of G20 and also the US President. We'll also uh, show you visuals of, uh, in fact, the two heads of state seated together and the body language only goes on to communicate the kind of growing and strength, uh, strengthened bilateral relationship that both the countries are currently sharing. For more details, let's quickly go across to Abhishek Jha, who's joining us on the phone line. Abhishek, uh, this meeting was, of course, expected to be one that would only highlight the outcome of all the previous, uh, or rather the culmination of all the previous interactions that the Indian Prime Minister and the US President have had so far. But what was that key takeaway as far as the joint statement of US and India is concerned? Uh, see, both, both the leaders have reiterated their commitments, uh, what uh, had transpired during the last meeting in White House and Prime Minister Modi was a special uh, guest there uh, for the Biden family who has invited them uh, him over at dinner. Uh, the critical and emerging technology is an area where India and USA are keenly trying to engage. Uh, then there are sensitive uh, you know, areas uh, like uh, semiconductor, electrocommunication, uh, area of artificial intelligence, cyber security, space technology, uh, where the two sides have... Uh, you know, started to believe that their ability uh, to collaborate can give both of them benefit. Uh, areas of people-to-people -people engagement, uh, you know, education, research and innovation, uh, and energy transition is also something that US and India uh, are, uh, you know, talking about having more collaboration on that. Uh, Indian professionals getting more opportunities, and more visas to work in USA is also on the card that the two leaders uh, have discussed, uh, and how to ensure that the strategic uh, partnership of India and uh, USA could continue unhindered. That is also one of the you know key uh, key item that the two leaders discussed because of this Indo-Pacific region and uh, India, USA. Uh, Japan and Australia's collaboration as Quad member. Uh, the importance of that group has been very much and India being uh, one of the most uh, powerful uh, ally or friend of USA in that region uh, is surely a, 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 an ally, a, a friend that USA wants right. to uh, depend upon. Uh, there are, yes.